Hi guys and welcome back to our video tutorials. We are continuing from the last time in troubleshooting videos and today's topic will be Stripe payment integration and some issues that you might have while configuring that, uh, this payment method. So without further ado, Alexander will help us as always. Okay, so um, basically to configure Stripe you have to go to Amelia settings and under payments you actually need to enable Stripe which is right here. Um, when you enable it, you need to enter the publishable and the secret key. Uh, for this video, we will go with the test mode. Uh, so under stripe.com, go to sign in to the dashboard. And when you're there, you will configure. I mean, I already have everything set up here, but basically you just create an account and you automatically get the testing account that you can use. Once you register your company, you will get the live credentials that you need for Stripe to actually work. So when you log into the dashboard, you go to the developers tab right here. And under API keys, you see the publishable key. Just click to copy it, go back to Amelia and switch to test mode. So paste the publishable key right here, go back to Stripe and reveal this secret key copy it, paste it here, and save it. Now, of course, you can change the metadata uh, and the description. So here for the appointments, we have added a few metadata. For, like, for example, service is the service name placeholder, which you already use in notification templates. Customer is the customer full name. Price is the price of the appointment and the description is customer booked an appointment with the employee on appointment date and time customer's email is this email right here you can also change that if we like yes of course okay. uh, these placeholders are here for quicker access but basically you should be able to use the majority of placeholders from notifications templates okay so, so the, sorry so the first issue can be if you not enter the the test uh, credentials uh, well, yeah, the first issue that you might have is that you've registered Stripe for testing purposes and you forgot to switch to live mode or Vice you versa, switched, yeah. you forgot to enter the keys here. So, for example, if you leave the test mode enabled, you won't be able to actually book an appointment using a real card. So for test mode, you have to use a test card, which is provided by Stripe. And for the live mode, you need to use a real card. Okay. So that's basically it regarding Stripe. Um, everything in here will be available when you activate the account and switch to live data. As you can see, this is all test data. So on the front end, we just refresh the page so everything, uh, so the new settings are applied. And of course, um, you can check if under services since we have on-site payment enabled as the default method under services you should also go into settings and check to see if stripe is also enabled under payments in here it is so it can happen that it's not enabled by default if you play around with the settings in the service so double check this as well on the booking page you select the service continue and basically when you select the date and the time you enter your credentials and the test okay so amelia test and this is it we choose stripe and in here we enter the test card which is all 42s uh, month and date in the future some numbers and a zip code which is a five digit code now this zip code is mandatory only for the USA, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. And since we're using uh, an, a US-based test card, the zip code appears. If you're using a European card in live mode or some other country that doesn't require a zip code, this field will not appear in here. So if we try to enter these credentials without the zip code, we will get a uh, notice that there's an error processing the payment so just enter anything to test it confirm and now the payment goes through and you actually see that the appointment is successfully booked okay nice in stripe under payments 
you can check and here it is February 24th at 10:32 a.m. This is the description that we've set up in the set in the settings. So Amelia Test is the name of the customer booked an appointment with Alexander Alexander Vukovic, which is the employee on February 25th at 12. Customer's email is wpmiliatest at gmail.com. When you click on that payment, you can also see the metadata in here. So service, yoga, customer, Amelia test, and price is $20. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to show you is Stripe test cards, which you guys can uh, check out anytime. So just go to uh, stripe.com docs testing, and you will see these cards listed below. So these are basic card numbers which you can use. You can use any of these. Um, I'm used to this US-based card, which is 4242 times four. And as you can see, any three digits, any future date, and the zip code is any five digits. So basically, this is it. If you see an error like you did when I missed the zip code, it's most likely linked to to the live versus test mode. Okay. So this is also mentioned in our FAQ under payments. If you see that error, you will be uh, you you will need to check if you you've enabled Stripe Live or Stripe Test Mode. Okay. Is there any limitation about the price of the service? So um, I believe that Stripe has a minimum of uh, zero point one dollars. So make sure to set the price of a service to be at least one dollar to test the the payments and see if the integration works or not. Um, also, uh, it is it would be good to check if your currency is supported by Stripe. If the currency is not supported by Stripe, you may also see the same error that you saw when we tested without the zip code. Okay. That's, that, that, that's pretty much it. I hope I covered <coughs> everything. Yeah, I hope also. So guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestion of which other payment method we should add or add it to our to-do list, let us know in the comments below. Before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.